As we know, here at home, the fishing industry has been impacted by the coronavirus. The price of lobster is way down. So Chef Lynn Archer wanted to help her local Lynn lobstermen. Archer. Here she is joining us from her kitchen. So we're gonna make lobster Alfredo. And to start the Alfredo, that is two tablespoons of melted butter. And if you're making a smaller batch, you can do one tablespoon and one tablespoon of flour. I happen to be doing two and two. We're gonna make a little bit of a roux, but not too much, because you want the Alfredo to be thick, but you want it to be a little bit runny too. On medium heat, about a cup of milk, cups of heavy cream. A grind of pepper. Not a lot, but some. A little bit of salt. A little bit of chopped garlic. And I don't put my chopped garlic in with the butter because I don't want it to burn. I want a nice garlic flavor. So as it cooks, it'll get thicker. As you can th see, it's getting thicker. And as it thickens, you're going to add about a cup of shredded Parmesan. Just like that, and stir it in, stir it in, and then the beautiful lobster meat that I chopped up, not real fine, and I'm adding about, about two cups of lobster meat, and you're going to let that come right up almost a boil but you don't want to let it boil and just let it cook a little bit longer so it's nice and thick see you can see it's getting all bubbly the Alfredo is getting all warm and bubbly all around the edges it's a lot of nice lobster meat in there and it's just about ready to serve. So that's how easy this dish is. Okay, so now we're ready to plate our beautiful lobster alfredo. This is just some linguine, because we've all got spaghetti, linguine, pasta in our cupboards. I would assume everybody's still got plenty. See, so there's not much on the store shelves. So, I cooked off about, well, you can cook as much as you think you need, but I cooked about a half pound package. And this is all warm and bubbly and beautiful, a little bit pink. My great grandmother's old ladle. I love all my old things that belong to her. You can see it's, it's not super thick, but you don't want it to be because it's such a rich dish anyway. And that's all you do, and you can have a little bit more if you want. And then I just add a little fresh parsley for some garnish. Just like that. And a little sprinkling of parmesan. And there you have it. Beautiful lobster alfredo. And we will, of course, have the recipe for the Lobster Alfredo in the 207 section of our NewCenterMaine.com website and mobile app.